one of the first things you're gonna want to do in a gorgeous ocean like this is go for a little snorkel trip swim with a nice beautiful fish and all of that amazing coral but that very coral can often be the most dangerous thing in that entire reef especially when it's a venomous imposter that's not really coral at all and can give you one hell of a venomous sting. Today we're gonna dive on in there and look for some fire coral. So far, I've covered three of the eight venomous sea creatures that make their home in this rocky Philippine coastline. And even though a fish with heroin-like venom and a sea urchin with detachable deadly fangs might be the freakiest things I've found so far, out of everything here, you have the highest chance of being a victim of fire coral. Not only is this stuff found in just about every reef on Earth, but it's also one of the most common things you'll find there. And all it takes is a single accidental touch to lead to a real bad day. As I start my search for this living landmine, I'm distracted by the other aquatic wildlife that calls this reef home, including some other venomous creatures. This crappy footage shows a nudibranch, a sea slug that eats the stinging cells of anemones and incorporates them into its own body. So now, one touch of its feather duster-like organ will bring you the same pain. I also found another venomous creature, this school of striped eel catfish. I've already covered this lethal little catfish on the channel before, but this is my first time seeing this species out during the day. The way they travel over the sea floor is almost hypnotic. All right, well it's time to cut the filler and get to the real star of this video. And as soon as I got to the coral reef itself, I was surrounded by it. All right guys. We found fire coral, and it is absolutely everywhere. In fact, it is the single most common type of coral I'm seeing out here. This stuff, every single bit of coral that's that brownish sort of yellow, and the tips are almost bright white, that is all fire coral, which is a very terrifying thought. All right, I did keep going, but to save your ears from the horrendous background noise of the ocean, I'm just gonna narrate the rest of this. As I mentioned earlier, fire coral isn't coral at all, but something a lot more sinister. It's actually a type of hydrozoan, just like the Portuguese man of war that has stinging venomous harpoons that it fires out like a jellyfish. But instead of floating around in the current, fire coral has adapted to staying in one place and stinging whatever poor creature drifts by. And if that happens to include you, you're gonna have a rough day. Its venom leads to immediate pain and will leave you with a rash that can last weeks. And on the edges of that rash, its venom even causes necrosis, where your skin cells will start dying. Sometimes victims experience nausea and vomiting, and very rarely an allergic reaction to the venom can occur, which can make the injury a lot more serious. If you are stung, be sure to avoid washing with fresh water as that can trigger more of the stinging cells to fire. Instead, seawater and isopropyl alcohol should bring some relief. The whole reason why fire coral stings in the first place is to capture microscopic plankton drifting in the current, which is kind of overkill if you ask me, especially since they have their own built-in grocery store that gives them food whenever they want. Each one is filled to the brim with microscopic algae that they have a symbiotic relationship with. In exchange for protection, the algae give up a portion of their hard-earned nutrients that they make during photosynthesis to the fire coral, which it turns into more venomous weapons to kill more plankton. This same system is also used by human governments in the form of taxes. There's so many random things in the ocean that you would think are totally harmless, but are actually really dangerous. So I hope next time you're swimming in it, you can keep an eye out for this stuff and avoid it at all costs. But there's an animal out here that loves to eat fire coral as its favorite snack. A type of sea turtle that, because of its diet, has become the only poisonous turtle on Earth. So much so that it's killed people. Stay tuned for that and other videos on dangerous sea creatures coming up, and I'll see you guys next time.